guys, happy Sunday. We are back from Greece and it feels like autumn has officially begun. The temperatures have dropped, the rain has started and we are gonna spend the afternoon together resetting for a new week. For me, it's especially a big reset because I'm resetting after travel, but either way, we are gonna reset for a new week and a new season. But before we get into all of the productive activities, get yourself a drink and get cozy. I'm about to do the same. I'm going to head off and get myself a chai latte. I'm not really a pumpkin spice girl. Hopefully you don't hate me for that, but I am a chai latte person. I absolutely love chai. It says autumn and winter and Christmas to me in the very best way. So we're gonna head off, get a chai latte, and then we're gonna get cozy and spend the afternoon together resetting, doing the full Sunday reset routine. Okay, let's go. early for the c word but honestly this does taste like christmas in a cup to me it's just the most warming drink ever i definitely need to learn how to make it at home but of course going past gales we couldn't help ourselves and ended up getting some food as well so cameron got their parmesan chicken sandwich thing which looks really good actually we also got one of their spinach rolls which these things are absolutely insane. They're like basically a sausage roll, but filled with spinach and feta as well. They're a bit like a spanakopita really. So we're still sticking with our Grecian theme for a little bit longer. And then I also got their spelt cauliflower and ferments salad. I haven't actually tried this one before, but I think it looks really good and very colorful. And that's what we like, very colorful food. So excited to have some of this and then very naughty to be honest. I shouldn't have bought this because I could have just made it myself. But I saw they had an apple and blackcurrant overnight oats and I just think, doesn't that just sound so autumnal and so good? So I've got this for my breakfast tomorrow and it's also got a dollop of almond butter on there as well. So yum. Anyway, time to tuck into this and have some lunch. <laughs> Gales was so good, highly recommend. I definitely hadn't seen that one before. So 
If you also haven't seen it before and live near a Gales, go get it, that was delicious. Anyway, it is now time to properly kickstart our productive afternoon Sunday reset routine. So first things first for me is unpacking and doing a load of laundry from being away. One of the perks of using my packing cubes is that when I pack to come back, I put all of my dirty laundry in one of my packing cubes and put anything that I didn't wear or that's still clean, which honestly was actually quite a lot of stuff in Greece because I basically just lived in a bikini the whole time. All of that stuff can just stay folded and then go straight back into my wardrobe. But it's time to get all of this into the washing machine so we can start. One of my favorite Sunday activities is to plan the week ahead. I don't always do this and some weeks it ends up happening rushed on a Monday morning, but I notice such a difference when I prioritize 20 minutes of my Sunday to take stock of my week ahead. I start with my Sunday to-do list. Knowing that I'm doing things that will set me up for success for the following week is my first priority. I then look at the whole week big picture and see what social events I have and get them marked into my weekly overview so that I can start to plan my healthy habits around them in a realistic way. So for example, I don't plan an early morning workout the day after dinner with friends because I know that I'll just end up skipping it which then damages my confidence because I feel like I'm not sticking to my goals. So I want to plan my week in a way that will make me feel good when next Sunday comes around. I then map the details from my weekly overview into my daily planner, which has an upfront page at the beginning of each week to set my priorities and goals so I get my mindset in the right place. And then finally, I'm trying to get better at meal planning for the week ahead. So I've started planning on a Sunday all the dinners I want to try the following week. It really is amazing how just a small stint of planning and goal setting makes you feel so good even on a weekly basis. thing about me I absolutely love a cookbook and a recipe book and this whole year I honestly have not used them enough so today a Sunday and with all of this very rainy weather it is the perfect reason to get out my cookbooks look for a recipe and cook something that takes a little bit longer that needs a little bit of extra love and that is going to be super warming and comforting on a Sunday evening so I have pulled a couple of my favorites off the shelf today. I've got my Ottolenghi Simple book, which if you want to make, make an Ottolenghi recipe, this is a great place to start. His book Flavor is a bit more complex and you really need to like settle in for the day to cook one of those, where if these are a little bit simpler. But I've just had a rifle through and I think this evening what I really want to make is curry. I have so many chickpeas in the cupboard for some reason, it just seems to be that every single time I go to the shops, I buy another can of chickpeas without actually using up the ones I've got. There isn't anything in the Ottolenghi book that really speaks to me. I've also got my Jamie Oliver veg book and there's some stuff in here that I think looks good. So I think I'm gonna do a bit of a combo this evening between, between this cauliflower tikka masala recipe in Jamie's book, which I think looks so good and looks relatively simple to make. And then this sweet potato and chickpea curry in the Deliciously Ella Feel Better app. And you guys know how much I love this app. 
So I think I'm gonna do a bit of a combo between these two things. If I haven't shown you this app properly in a while, it's so great. So everything in here is vegan and you basically get everything laid out for you super clearly. So you've got like the detail of the recipe, the ingredients you need, and then the methods of it and how you cook it. So this is a bit of a description, and then it's got all of the ingredients here. And you, when you go to the shop, you can basically, sorry guys, I'm not focusing properly. When you go to the shop, you can basically tick off whether you've got each of those ingredients. And then it gives you the method of how to do it. And then if you wanted to like add any notes while you were cooking in here, you can like such a good app. Anyway, I'm gonna do a bit of a combo of these two, I think, and get cracking with making a very warm, hearty meal. I was missing and that I still needed. So I just popped to the shops to get a few of those bits. So I got some spinach and I got some cauliflower, which means I really do have the whole rainbow of vegetables to put in this curry. So we'll see what actually makes it in there and everything else I will just save later in the week. They still didn't have all the spices that I need, but I picked up some ground cumin and some ground turmeric. I've already got like cloves, paprika and cinnamon sticks, but I need some extras. I am still missing a few things. Like there wasn't any cardamom. Um, I do have ginger. Anyway, they didn't have saffron. I got some rice. I got some coconut milk and some tomato paste. And then because I couldn't find everything, I did end up buying one of these Spice Taylor kits now. These kits are so good because these aren't actually full of all the bad stuff that you see a lot of those like curry pots made from. So I might put, I mean, I'll show you how this whole kit works. They're honestly really, really good. I might just use the spices sections. They've got like the sauce that you can use. They've got two different like layers of the sauce and they've also got like all of the dried spices that you need to go into it. So I just thought if nothing else, I could use some of the dried spices for this and then I could use the sauce later in the week or some other week when I was feeling lazy like I wanted a quick meal. Anyway, so I think I've got everything that I need now to get going. I had wanted to get my stuff out the wash but it's actually not finished, it needs another half an hour. So we can't get on with doing more laundry until that's finished. So in the meantime, I think I'm gonna start prepping this because I always like to eat slightly earlier on a Sunday and I feel like it's already 5.30 or something. I don't know where my phone is. Um, but anyway, plenty late enough for us to get cracking with some food. So time to make some very warming autumnal curry. And because you all know that I'm a Disney girl at heart, I am also in the process of watching. Ooh. I'm also press watching the new live action Little Mermaid. I didn't actually go and see it in the cinema. So I've popped it on here and I'm about 50 minutes of the way through. It's actually quite long, isn't it, for a Disney? I don't know if any of you have seen it. Anyway, I'm making my way through it. So I'm gonna put this on whilst I keep on making dinner.
that curry was so good. I am definitely going to be making that again. And it was packed with so many veggies, so kind of healthy-ish for a curry. Very good. Anyway, it is now my absolute favourite time of the evening, of any evening, but especially a Sunday. Knowing that I have done all of my laundry, I've set all of my goals for next week. We have ticked off our to-do list for the day. We've also written our meal prep for next week as well, so we know which recipes we're making. And now we get to sit on the sofa, watch TV, wind down and eat an ice cream. So today I've got a Solero just to say goodbye to summer while I finish off this one last box. And then we will be into all of the cozy autumnal desserts as soon as this weather cools down. It's been so nice having a bit of a rainy day today to be able to just hunker down and focus on doing things productively at home. But it's still quite warm, so it's not fully cold yet. It's not I mean, I've been wearing a jumper today, but it's definitely not coat season, so still looking forward to that. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I have loved hanging out with you on a Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have the loveliest week, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.